top five reasons why you shouldn't buy a PlayStation 4. There are no must-have games for this console, I'll be honest with you. Who wants to play Killzone, Shadowfall, Knack, or Rezogun? I certainly don't. Why would you? Those games aren't interesting. Those are, there are no must-have games. There aren't any games that really warrant my $400 purchase. Let's move on to the third-party games, shall we? Because all of the third-party games that are out on the PlayStation 4 are literally out on every single platform right now. So there you have it. What games are they out for? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing that interests me, anyway. Media features, here we fucking go. It's like this thing never ends. The disappointment just builds and builds and builds the more that I talk about it. I plopped on 400 bucks for this thing, and guess what? It can't even read an audio CD. That's not all though. You put a USB flash drive in the thing, can't even recognize that it exists. So that's even plugged into the, one of the USB ports on the front of the console. What about a 3D Blu-ray? Wanna watch a 3D? Blu-ray movie in high-definition 1080p? <laughs> Can't do that either. So, uh, no games. At least games that I don't want to play, personally. And there's nothing that you can do multimedia feature-wise with this console. Now, sure, you can say that there's, oh, there's Netflix, there's Amazon, Hulu Plus, Instant Video, whatever the hell those services are called, but guess what? You could do that on your computer, your tablet, your smartphone, your Xbox 360, your Xbox One, your PlayStation 3, the Wii, the Wii U, the list goes on and on. If you're going to really tout this thing as a multimedia feature powerhouse, then you better have more than just Netflix, Amazon, and Hulu Plus. That's for sure. Third reason why you shouldn't buy a PlayStation 4, you gotta pay for online now. But if you tell me that you get free games with PlayStation Plus, you're out of your freaking mind. There's nothing free with PlayStation Plus. Because when your PlayStation Plus subscription ends, and let's say you got all of those free games, well guess what? Those free games are no longer activated. That's what it's like on PlayStation Plus. You get all these great, fantastic free games, and you're like, yes, I get to keep them. And then once your subscription runs out, you're shit out of luck. So if you tout the PlayStation Plus as a great service, I beg you to give me better reasons than having free games because there's nothing free about PlayStation Plus. Fourth reason why you shouldn't buy a PlayStation 4 if you've been keeping track, the thing is not backwards compatible. You can't do anything on it. You can't play PS1 games, two, or even three. You can't even transfer your digital crap over from the PS3 to the PS4. And the last reason why you shouldn't buy a PlayStation 4, at least as of right now, the thing's faulty. When I turn this thing on, it sounds like a Boeing 747 at an airport. And I don't know if that's normal, but my PlayStation 3 does not do that. So if you're looking to get a PS4, I would highly suggest that you wait. Those are top five reasons why you shouldn't buy one, at least as of right now. Greatness awaits, more like disappointment awaits.